For this hip thrust variation, you will need a prop that you can place between your inner thighs. So a foam roller works really well. This allows me to press in and keep my knees at the same width as my feet versus coming in too close together. A ball works really well, so long as it's blown up enough, you can press into it. Even a pillow that has some volume to it, so this on its own would be, allow me to bring my knees too close. There's nothing really to squeeze there. So I'd really have to like bunch this puppy up to make it work, but pick the prop that works well for you. Lean back against a stable elevated surface, like a box, bench, or couch that hits just below your shoulder blades. From here, with your feet parallel hip width apart and slightly forward of your knees, we're gonna go into a hip thrust, driving our heels down and scooping our hips up off the floor. So press your heels down, scoop your hips up, and move this down a little bit, and squeeze that prop that you have between your inner thighs. Now when we come up, we are coming up to a position where we can really feel that squeeze through our glutes, we're feeling our hamstrings, our heels are pressing down and pulling in. That's gonna really help to get these hamstrings going. And our rib cage is pressing down. So we're not lifting up so high that we're arching our back or flaring at our rib cage, okay? Keep that rib cage pressed down, gazing diagonally forward. Your hands can be here, lightly holding you, or out to the side, okay? Lower down with control, keeping tension on that prop. Inhale. And now whew, scoop your hips up, exhale, squeeze in to the prop, press down to the floor and pull your heels in toward you. Ooh, that is intense. And continue. 